Hi guys. You're probably wondering what I'm up to. Well, I am making a display light to go in my window when I put my uh, Christmas light display up. So, one piece of wire, and the idea is I'm going to put one of these lamp holders at either end of this piece of wood. So it sits roughly in the middle of my window, or well, that one of these would sit roughly in the middle of each pane, I should say, I hope. I've already um, attached the base um, and pre-drilled the holes, used my little one. I could have gone downstairs and got my big Clark, but I thought... Why bother when I can just charge up this one? Right. Um, I'm just debating if I put some strain relief on this or not, because it's not really going to be hanging from the wires, so it's not imperative. Uh, but... I think... As a just in case precaution, I am gonna um, just strip these wires. I don't even know if I'm in shot, can't see. It'd be handy if I could connect the camera to like an external screen. Right. So, put this upside up the other way and thread the cable through. So, how am I going to hang it? I'm going to use these. These are going to go on here, but on the other side of this plank of wood. Well, tell you what, it'll be easier if I show you that afterwards. Okay. I'm just going to move you so you can pretty much well, see better to what I'm doing. Uh, where's my little prop? Right. Doesn't really matter in this case which way round I put the wires. I'm going to put that under that strain relief. Ah. Uh, might just trim this bit of wire down a smidge because I don't want any blue or brown wire showing through the hole it's a brand new pair of wire cutters right. but just because I'm lazy and can't be bothered to use my wire strippers Seems like I've got to tighten my screws up a bit. I didn't tighten them up enough. Okay, neutral one side, live the other side. Like so. Where's my Phillips? I didn't screw these in tight enough. There we go. Right, so that's one. That's the other. I'll trim this down as well. So it's a bit on the long side. I've used these to strip wire since, <sighs> well, when I was on work experience with um, Michael Wright Electrical many moons ago. Many, many moons ago. Actually, that was back in 1999. I did my first work experience with him when I was at school uh, for the standard two weeks. And that uh, you did back then. And uh, then after that, 
the school ran a pilot scheme where in the last year of your school, which would have been year 11 over here, um, you'd, uh, you did two days a week work experience and one day, which was a Friday afternoon, I should say, not a, a day, um, we did activities. Um, not everyone in my in year 11 did that when I was at school. That was pretty much, you know, a pilot scheme. And apparently my name was pulled out of, out of a hat, so to speak. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. But yeah, that's how the electricians stripped their wires back then. And, uh... I've done exactly the same ever since. Right. Now, oddly, I haven't seen ones like this before, but these clip in just like that. And then you've got this bit. Get the screws on like that, so it's like... Uh, it's doubled, so this bit won't come off at all. Which is why I'm not really sure why that's got the strain relief for this. Because it's not really needed. Right. Drag and cable up to this end. Yeah, I know I'm an excellent cameraman, aren't I? Not. Okay, I'm not a professional, I'm just a YouTuber. Right. Uh, so. I'm just going to move my little rubber foot out of the... I've got one missing. I've just uh, moved it. There we go. If I can just drag you back. Whoops. It's vibrated the camera. Alright, so I'm going to cut this wire down. And I just make sure that rose is screwed down. I don't want to go too tight because uh, you can crack the plastic. Fudge. <laughs> that was polite for me as well, wasn't it? Fudge. Normally I'd say something else. Right. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where's it gone? Where has it gone? Is it this one? I forgot. I've got to put a lead for power onto it, haven't I? If you're wondering what cables I've used, I've used a couple of old um, figure eight cables, you know, with the, these plugs on the end. Because, uh, well, these are so common these days, you know. And I've got so many kicking around, I just thought, eh, yeah, I'll use one. Now, which one's which? Right. That one's power, that one's coming from the other light. Rooty ho then. Nemo's underneath my Lego table. I can hear him rubbing against one of the cardboard boxes. Right, let's strip that back. Better to have too much than not enough. Um, 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 I've got to think. Got to think, boyos. Got to think. Put that one through a little bit more. Let's get this one stripped back as well. into the lathe wire, Captain. Good job it isn't lathe. Otherwise I'd be getting a bloody great shock by now. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. Right. I'll 
getting somewhere. Right. So that's power in. I'm going to have to use the three terminal block in the middle for this, I think. And I've got to put three lives together because I've got to loop it to the next lamp. I can't do that using a conventional three connector block. I've got three neutrals, three lives. Because I've got to take um, factor in these two. Right. We put live smack bang in the middle. Like so. what I did see when I was at college once. You can always tell the total rookies. But um, when our tutor said, you know, strip the bare wire back, he literally went right down, <laughs> right down in here. So all of that was bare metal. You know, if he, some people who start his courses really have no idea. And some people do. I was just one of the lucky ones who uh, had some experience before I started this class, you see. And some people want to learn something new. That's fine. Not quite that much wire needs to be stripped bare, though. <laughs> and uh, We've all got to start somewhere, haven't we? We were all... Uh, Rookies at one point. Well, I don't even consider myself an expert. But uh, whenever something electrical in the home goes tits up, guess who gets called? Andy. Washing machine not working. Why ain't the washing machine working? You have a look at that bloody washing machine. Lights in the bedroom ain't working. I'm not an expert. I just know how to connect up the wires and make things work. I have tried working live a couple of times. Yeah, don't do that. I learned the hard way not to do that. More than once. <laughs> it took more than once. More than one lesson to learn it, but... was in my teens the first time and I was get I was too lazy to go indoors to shut the power off to the sheds before working on one of the lights because it broke and uh, it would have gone well if I didn't leave a wire <laughs> dangling in the shed like that with a live wire hanging out at the end of it it's just as well I brushed my hand on it and didn't get hold of it but yeah, you could say, um, pretty soon after that, <laughs> I turned the power off. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't work live. And even when I was on work experience, electricians never worked live, unless it was absolutely imperative. One electrician did it. But, uh, I think he soon regretted it. Put that on. Well, we're ready for a test fire at least. I'm just going to make sure the plug's got a 3 amp fuse in it. 
probably don't need a 3 amp fuse, I could probably get away with a 1 amp. Right, I'm not going to bother putting a switch on this either. I could do with a longer cable as well, but never mind. Right, before I test it, I'm going to screw the brackets on. I am going to need screws. Um, no, what am I going to need? Um, some short screws. I'm not going to put all three in. I don't need all three. This is plywood, so it's, I don't need a power driver or anything either. Goes in pretty damn easy. It's not heavy, so I'm not going to put three screws into that bracket. They don't even have to match. Is that Ooh, screws poked through on that one? And put another one this end. There's a reason I put the front one in first so I can line that up when I put the screw in. Two more little screws, I'm gonna stick them in this end. Yes, I have put the brackets under the wire, as you can see. You should be able to see anyway. <laughs> cool. Get in there. All right. Simple as that. I made myself a little disco light. I could hang at parties as well if I really wanted to. Here we go. I think, ow, I'm going to stab my finger on epoxy screw. Put one in there. Roy's sell these, my local Roy's department store, but with um, a lamp holder included. I really need to get down here and sort these cables out. Right, plug it in, contact. Yay! There we go. <laughs> See, this part of the bracket is going to screw. Did I even show you that on camera? I don't know, I wasn't looking. That part of the bracket will screw into this wooden batten so the light fitting itself will then hang under here. I'm going to have to put some washers between the screw and whatnot up there. Because uh, otherwise, um, it's not going to sit level. I don't know how far that's going to shoot beams. I'm hoping on the path outside. But, uh, I don't think it is, personally. Ooh. I've only done a half hour video just for this. Right. <laughs> it's working. Nothing went bang, but I didn't think it would. It's ever so, ever so simple. Because it doesn't matter which way around the wires go, because these are made to be, uh, you know, bipolar, I suppose. Cool. LEDs are bright in there. For one and a half watt. 
Oof. I don't help when you get one of them sparkly bits get you straight in the eye either. Yeah, actually looks quite nice. And well, I've got the lamp holders in a box of electrical bits I got for ten pound. The bulbs I think were two ninety nine each. They're either two ninety nine or three ninety nine. I'm going in um QDs later, I'll have a look. I can't remember how much the shelf brackets were either. But uh even if I bought all the parts um you know, if I bought the lamp holders and the brackets, excluding the bulbs, but if I bought the lamp holder and the brackets as parts, it would have still cost less than the ten. Actually, even with the bulbs, it wouldn't have cost much more than ten pounds to build this. I mean, that little bit of ply you could pick up anywhere, it's just a scrap piece of ply. That's ready to go up. That's going to be later, um, the job for later. Right, well, I'm going to call this the video. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you again later. Bye bye.